Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm gonna make a uh, a quick video. Uh, I had a, one of one of the viewers was on here. He was watching, uh, I think, my Bushnell TRS26 video where I was showing this setup right here, and he was saying uh, that uh, he was asking why I had a Peck 15. <clears throat> On here he was saying that they were useless and and heavy you know unless you were running i think he caught he said it was a pbs 16 uh mvg or something I, i'm not real sure what that is but i know what a pick 15 is but I, I don't have a pick 15 uh i what i have here is the hollow sun ls 221g and uh i'm sure i probably covered this in a previous video but i guess we'll just go ahead and, and, and dive right into it again a little bit more in depth as far as uh night vision support gear is considered or concerned excuse me so this is the ls 221g by hollow sun this is a and the g is means it's green uh it's got a green visible laser you can get a red one uh i went with the green visible laser and it's slaved with the ir laser that's all it does is is visible green and infrared laser it doesn't have an illuminator built in or anything like that the reason i went with this was uh <clears throat> because i wanted uh a unit that would be slave that way i could zero it and verify zero uh whenever i need to uh on in the visible laser spectrum and then uh every, it'll it'll just automatically the the infrared laser excuse me i'm trying to gather my words my thoughts the infrared laser is slaved to the visible laser so once you zero one the other one's zero the same same point aim point of impact so it's one and done so I, I did enjoy that and it's ipx rated blah 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 all that good stuff i mean it's it's an uh, it's a decent quality unit i mean hollow sun makes good they make decent stuff i mean anybody who knows about hollow sun or been in the, around this stuff for a while hollow sun you know they hadn't been around very very long but they, they make some quality products so uh, I went with this and it's got the QD mount and it came with a pressure switch as well. You also got a fire button here on top and you got your windage and elevation adjustment knobs, single CR123 battery. And it has a little bikini style cover over the lens that just swivels back and forth. And uh, <clears throat> not a bad little laser unit. Uh, it works, it holds zero well. It's, it's actually got a smaller footprint than a PEG 15 would have. I looked at the PEC 15s, uh, the civilian model ones, and uh, I was actually entertaining picking one up from Palmetto State Armory, and they had some in, in store. And I, I talked to some guys in there and some guys on the different forums and stuff, and those were all, those are all the, uh, at PLC, and those are the civilian powered units, and the illuminator on them is really lacking. And for the amount of money that it was going to cost, it was going to be about twice as much money as this, depending on where you buy and if it's on sale or whatnot. Uh, these are about six or seven hundred dollars. The at PLC last time I saw it, which is the civilian uh, pick 15, was uh, I think about fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars somewhere in that area, depending on. I mean, you may find it for twelve hundred, but either way, it's 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 close to double what one of these would cost you. So. And given the fact that the illuminator was was uh, underpowered by most by most people's standards, by even most civilian standards, I just went ahead and and went with this. I already had a Surefire uh, old Millennium style uh, halogen light, and with the infrared flip cover, I still have that one, but uh, <clears throat> that's what I was using for supplemental IR illumination, and uh, it worked pretty good. Uh, Seventy five. 100 yards you you could uh positively id some stuff under your night vision so it was it wasn't spectacular but it was okay where i found it to be lacking was in the visible light spectrum it was i mean it was really weak uh as far as the visible light because it had a halogen bulb and it was older technology not horrible but not great uh and like i said i already had that so i didn't i didn't opt to uh spend the extra money on the civilian power pack 15. now you can find full power pack 15s if you know where to look they are available and they generally cost uh, around 2500 or more so 
And then, of course, you got the mall and stuff like that by B. Myers. Uh, B. Myers just came out with the Key G. That's new. Uh, like, new, new. Like, they're hard to even get right now. They're they're on back order and stuff like that, or pre-order. But uh, from what I understand, those are pretty awesome. If that had been around when I, when I was setting up initially, I would have definitely got one of those. Uh, because that's an illuminator and I probably would have I probably would have picked that up uh, but who knows what the future may, may hold <clears throat> anyway so I just wanted to mention that and the differences between this and the PEC like I said this has a smaller footprint this is an aluminum housing the PEC 15s are some kind of composite material uh, like I said I've never had the pleasure of dealing with a full power PEC 15 but I understand that they are good to go obviously that's what the military have used for, for quite some time and I'm pretty sure they're still using those. Uh, I just didn't have, <clears throat> at first, when I was setting up, I didn't even know where to find a full power pick 15. Since then, I, I figured out where you can find those things at. And uh, you can find them pretty frequently available. But, like I say, for the money, I just didn't, I didn't see uh, going all the way in to that extent right then. Especially not just going uh, and spending twice as much to get a, uh, underpowered civilian at PLC. Now I'm sure the laser would have been, you know, pretty decent. Uh, it has a visible and infrared laser, and then the infrared illuminator. But from all accounts, I'm hearing the infrared illuminator was was uh, it's it's not really worth it at all. From from what everything I've seen in videos and stuff like that, and from all the guys on the forums and stuff, and even the, uh, some of the guys that I talked to uh, at Palmetto State Armory that dabble with night vision, they said just just forego that one. Don't even. They said it's not worth the money, essentially. So, uh, I, I feel like I wouldn't have been very pleased with that. So, now, let's move on to <clears throat> my new infrared illuminator or what I decided to use as a solution uh, for that. And that is the Surefire M640V Scout Light Pro. And this is the Vampire model. 350 lumens <clears throat> excuse me 350 lumens of white light output and 120 milliwatts of infrared light output and it'll run for two and a half hours in the visible light spectrum or 16 and three quarter hours uh under the infrared spectrum on on uh two cr123 batteries and uh, it came with <clears throat> it came with the picatinny picatinny rail mount and uh m lock rail mount and uh and i mounted mine on picatinny and it's got this real cool mount where it can swing and swivel it's all built into the actual housing of the light and what makes it awesome is uh, obviously you can buy pressure switches and stuff like that i just kept the uh the factory button on there it works fine for me and then up here try to get this in the shot for you guys you have a selector switch basically you have white and then you have off so you can lock it out so you don't have a negligent discharge with your light or something like that or don't just activate and burn through your batteries and then you flip it one more time or turn it and it goes to our spectrum light so pretty cool and uh it does really good and you get pretty good throw on it in uh visible and ir so i, I really enjoy that and it's, uh, it's, it's proved to be exactly what I was hoping it would be. And I've only had this for a couple of, maybe a couple of months, maybe a month and a half, something like that. And uh, I, I really like it so far. Obviously, Surefire is, is high quality. Uh, these can be had for <clears throat> uh, around $400. Uh, if you like me, you're going to shop for sale. And I, I got a little bit cheaper with the, uh, with the promo code. And I was able to get it, I think, for... I went to Kosher Surplus, and I got it for about $330 or something like that, brand new. So, with prompt shipping. I like Kosher Surplus. They they take good care of me. So, that's that's what I'm running is the Surefire M640V uh, Scout Light. And uh, that's how I get my, my illumination on this setup. Both white light and infrared light in one light, one light unit and cr123 batteries which is pretty much standard on this kind of stuff and uh it's it's solid it's a solid solid light for sure and i have been looking at it for a while they make a smaller one the m i think it's the m 
300 or m340 v uh but it it's, it's got less output and it takes one cr123 battery a lot of guys use those on their helmets and stuff but uh, i don't have one of those as of yet so i can only speak to this one and uh <clears throat> i can get I can get decent illumination at about 100 yards with this thing. So depending on light pollution, you know, depending on what kind of knives you're running, what kind of tubes you got in there, et cetera. Moon, I mean, you know, there's there's all kinds of different variables when we're talking about working with night vision. But uh, so that's pretty much what the setup is and what the thought behind it was. And uh, I know the, the viewer, he was asking why I had it on there. And, and I guess he hadn't seen any of my back channel videos and I just commented to him that I, I didn't really know what exactly uh, what a, some of the stuff he was saying was, and, and I told him that you know I don't it's not a pick 15, and uh, <clears throat> I'll probably cut this video, and I'll probably send him a link to some of my older night vision videos, and maybe it'll make sense to him that you know the reason why I have this stuff mounted on a gun. It's been on you know some of the stuff has been on different guns as I've as I've grown and 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 fielded different stuff and, and used it at night time under night vision you know whether it was when i started with the pvs 14 or now with the rmvgs so it's been a learning process and it's ongoing so the, the configurations change and and different stuff like that and uh so it's just it's just a process of learning and, and trial and error and taking the stuff out and using it and seeing what works and what doesn't just like any other gear or equipment so uh, that's why my stuff has changed so much. That's why I swapped from rifle to rifle and, and different things like that. And the optic setups have changed. It's because I'm just learning, you know. I'm, I'm learning I'm learning a lot of this stuff firsthand too. And, you know, outside of just reading and, and watching YouTube and, and, and asking questions when I when I find people that are more knowledgeable than me on the subject. So that's that's pretty much the the idea behind it. I didn't just put this stuff on on a gun just because I thought it looked cool, you know, or anything like that. It's not any kind of uh, replicas or anything like that from the airsoft store. Uh, they're they're working. I mean, it's it's working stuff, and and it's on here for a reason. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't just spend that kind of money just you know, just to look like something. Uh, you know, and like I say, they're not clones or replicas, so. You know they, they're full cost and they, they're fully functioning items so uh i just thought i'd kind of re uh re-establish that and just talk on that again because as i looked i didn't have a dedicated video to the hollow sun laser unit and obviously i just got the surefire uh vampire light so uh i figured i'd go <clears throat> excuse me go ahead and and uh and, and share some information about all that stuff with you guys but uh I, like i said i've been looking at this scout light for a while and that's the m640 vampire and this is the black one and it's the pro model so all right i appreciate it guys that's all i got for you like this and that